everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you, and today I'm here to do um, some journaling out of my magazine, and I'm using one of those um, journaling, art journaling uh, magazine from Sempington, and I had already previously done a few pages in there, like the first three pages, and I did the last one, so I'm, I'm going in the middle. And I'm doing kind of a reverse collage on this one because I really like this page and I thought it'd be nice to put something on this side that was me um, and still see this beautiful page that an artist made. And uh, so I am decided to do something a bit different from what I do. I found this beautiful lady and I thought she'd be great on there and I want to add some angel wings to her. These angel wings I found at clipartpanda.com and they were free so you can uh, you can use them for your own um, own makes without any issues and I've lost my pair of scissors where did I where did they go had them just a few minutes ago oh there they are so for, for this, I thought I could use my Tattered Angel Sprays and uh, and submit the, as well, the um, Angel Wings. And so I've pulled out all kinds of different colors that I had that I thought were going to fit with this journaling. I've also pulled out a scrap piece of paper that I had in my stash and it, it comes from uh, Gypsy Moments. It was a leftover piece from a previous project and I thought those would be amazing for, for this as well um, because I thought I could make, I could glue some down as an interest piece. I've already gessoed my magazine page so this way it's, uh, it's ready to go. Here's one wing. I'm going to keep the name so that I can link it down below in case you guys didn't catch where it was that you can find those wings. They had all kinds of different ones. I'm not sure all the other ones are free, but I know that this one was. And I'm still sending you to them because I can't, I'm not good at drawing wings. And so, uh, I thought it would be easier this way for me. Okay, so we've got the wings. I found a sentiment that says, all that we touch, we change, because I thought angels, that's what they do. This is the set that uh, I'm talking about, so Gypsy Moments. And this is the page that I'm using. Uh, so I thought it really fits with the background colors that you see on there. So I thought that'd be kind of really cool, and uh, and 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 I I also took out this um, base that I thought I could use as a stenciling. Okay, so now I'm thinking uh, it'd be kind of fun to add some glaze to my wings. So let's start with that, and I'm gonna. Um, damage this and uh, so let's put this aside two seconds let's do my wings first so that they can dry and because uh, it'd be fun if they they had a bit of interest on them they weren't they'd be a bit shiny and uh, Gonna give them a nice shine. Can then this dry? So this product is uh, the Icicle Glimmer Glaze, and all the products that I use, uh, I'm gonna link down in the descri description box below. So if you're interested, you can go and check it out. Oh, 
Okay, so let's put this aside to dry. Meanwhile, let's bring this back. So when I look at this, I see all kinds of different colors. And I was thinking I could start off by putting a base. And I was thinking of using this patina as the base. Whoops. And I'm putting it everywhere, of course. Doesn't really matter all that much because it's just a magazine, but still. So. I like the blue tint. I think it ties well together. And it's not so bad that it sprays a bit on this one, on the other side, because, well, it's gonna fit in better, I guess. Okay, and then uh, I thought I would use the girly pink. Already I'm loving this. The colors really fit with what I'm seeing on the other side. So this is the first time I ever try to do something similar to reverse collage. The other pages that I did in this book, I didn't really integrate all that much from the previous, um, from what was already there. Okay, so I'm gonna try to give a layer of Liquitex. Because I'm, I'm liking how this is turning up, and that light should be able to kind of protect it. So this way, if I mess up another step, I can uh, wipe it down. And my brush is losing. It gives it a very soft look. I'm really loving this. And I'm wondering I'm wondering if I'm gonna bother putting paper down. I might just line my sentiment with it. Because I really like how this ties in. Okay, so I've got some gold. Um, this is Setchel Glaze. It, it looks gold to me. And this is not going to fit. So I don't want it everywhere. I want a bit of the brown, like you have on the other side. And I'm 
actually I'm gonna try to see it so that this way I can kind of imitate the style. that. I think I want a bit of the the blue, darker blue. This is totally out of my uh, my typical type of work. It's actually quite fun. I don't think I'll be doing much stenciling at all. I'm liking how organic this is turning out to be. I'd like to put some darker rustic rust rusty color um, 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 um. looking at my paint system see the different colors I've got I've got camel which might be what I'm looking for. That's the song for putting it into my other paint. So it's a bit darker. And I'm kind of creating a frame around where my angel is going to go. Got a bit of this topaz. I should shake it. Oh, got a bit of sapphire. Just for the fun of it. Yeah, just like that. And. Uh, I'm gonna have a big block though. This, I really like this. This is like so different from the stuff I do. So, so, so different. It's, it's like light years from what I usually do. So, what would this look like? She's 
she really pops and that was the goal. And, uh, okay, so that I think would be pretty good. So I put this aside a bit to dry. And in the meantime, let's uh, take care of the sentiment. Whoa, I just put my finger right on my wings. Okay, so because it's there's a lot of pink, I'm thinking that maybe it would be nice on that. And I'm kind of happy because this the spray went on it. So it's not quite as uh, white anymore. That was a happy accident. I want my phrases in um, tiny sections because I find that they're easier to place on a layout. Okay, so I've used all these. Didn't use this. Didn't use that. Use this. I didn't use this, I think. Some things I can put away. Before I mix up my, uh, my different things that I use and what I didn't use, because I try to be able to remember so that I can tell you guys, but sometimes if I don't. Uh, them aside, aside properly then I, I forget and then I'm looking for it and yes I do watch my videos but to do the editing but sometimes it's a lot easier to uh, just uh, have it properly put out for you I had a baby blue. I thought I was using the baby blue, but I guess I used this one. So I did use it because I did use a blue. I love, 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 love how it turned out. Like really loved. I am so happy that I'm doing something way different. Coming out of my. Uh, my regular uh, zone. I need to do more of that. It's fun too because it's a magazine, so there's not a lot of. Uh, if I ruin it, I ruin it. It's not a. It's not a huge investment. Do I do some little line work on this? I'm starting to like doing that. I've been wanting to do that for like so long. And now I'm finally getting the courage to do some.
to the same. I thought I had. Oh, there it is. No. I thought I had another one smaller. Okay, let me go and get my fine liners. So I got my other Amber Castell set, and I got this one, and I don't understand why I don't have another one of these in here. But anyway, so this is what I wanted to do. Started really liking to do just little line work. It's kind of fun. This is something totally new for me because I don't usually do that. But yeah, it's a it's a fun little process. And uh, so, so that's one. And because I'm, I was looking at the other side of the page, and she did some line work as well. So I've been trying to push myself and and do that as well. I guess that's how we grow, eh? As artists, is to, and I'm trying to use the word artist because I don't really feel like an artist. To me, artists are people that are in galleries and that can actually that draw and that do all that. But uh, I'm trying to see myself as an artist more because one of my artist friend didn't mention that what I was doing was artistic, it was being an artist because you're putting your vision to what you're doing but I don't know to me crafts is not is not being an artist. It's like when you say artisana in uh, in French. It's it's not art. I'm looking forward to uh, reading your comments about that. What you think? Okay, so I've got that done, and I really like how those turned out. Now, let me finish drawing these because they're clearly not dry. I did put a big layer of that glaze, so... They look wet, but they're not. Wow. Okay. So I was wrong. They're dry. And uh, I've got my little lady. And now 
This here, I'm not sure if that is dry. Not bad. Okay, so I'm thinking this right there. And then uh, we change all that we touch. I think I really like that. Yes. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do the same thing again and put a bit of varnish and oh my god my brush is not liking me today those, those are dollar store brush because I can't for the life of me take good care of my brushes so and especially with Liquitex I don't want to be using uh, very very expensive things so, is that okay here? And she's gonna go there. Uh, maybe a bit more like this. Like that. And then, uh, she's gonna go here. And, uh, I think I want, I want it there. Okay, so, put this down now. Okay, so let's try this. because I met the um, here the the skin color kind of went bluish I want to just make it more skin color again just my my water brush Uh, 
always when I want something that I can't find it. What did I do with it? did with it. Oh, there it is. I'm thinking I'm making it worse. <laughs> so I might just go back when uh, it's completely dry and go with a lightly colored uh, pencil or something. Okay, so we're just missing. All that retouch, we change. And that is it, folks. I really love it. I uh, just need to put my signature on it. And uh, this is it. So, hope you've liked seeing this. Hope you go and check out the beautiful products that I've, uh, I've used. You're going to love them. And uh, here is my page. Whoops. Like that. Doesn't it make a nice spread? I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it! So I need to try this more often because it really, it really turned out really awesome, I think. So looking forward to reading your comments. Bye, everyone!